Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to do another tutorial about blending two photos together using Affinity Photo 2. Honestly, I could make a couple hundred of these because every combination of photos is different. And there are many different methods you can use to blend two pictures together. In the end, no technique is right or wrong. There's just what works for you or what does not. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please, please click on those like and or subscribe buttons below. It really does help small creators like us get established. Okay, that said, here we go. I've already opened up a picture of a nice woman in a lake raising her hands up in the air. I'm not sure why she has her hands up, but it will work great for what I have in mind. I'm going to use the selection brush tool to select this lady and remove her from the background. I'll try to work fast so as not to bore you. Okay, once she's selected, we'll click on the refine button at the top of the page to clean the image up a bit. You can use the mat, foreground, or background buttons in the refine tool to isolate the areas you want to work on. That looks good. Let's select the output to be new layer with mask. Once I have her just the way I like, I'll click on apply. That looks great. Now, I'll open up this awesome black and white background image that I found in the stock images tab from pixabay.com. To make our model lady black and white as well, I'll go to the adjustment button and then select the HSL adjustment. Then I'll drag the adjustment layer onto the layer with the lady so that my adjustments only affect her. I'll lower the saturation to zero and lower the luminosity a bit to match the background better. Okay, great. Let's size her and place her right in this foggy area here. To do this, I'm going to use the freehand selection tool to duplicate a portion of the background layer. Once I've drawn my selection, I'll go to the bottom layer and copy it. I'll deselect by clicking Command or Control D and then I'll paste the selection. Next, I'll move the pasted area to the top of the layers. Now, to blend her into the fog a bit, I'm going to use the smudge tool located on the left side of the studio. And I'll select the textured mask brush one. You can use any brush you want. Making sure I'm on the top layer, I'm going to smudge the pixels upward and over the lady's midsection. This makes it look like the fog is rising up around her a bit and blends her in nicely. That looks great. Finally, I'm going to add some overhead lighting to the image. After all, she's got to be holding her hands up for some reason. Maybe she's summoning the light. To do this, I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel and scroll down to Lighting. And I'll move the adjustment layer to the very top so it affects the whole image. Now, I'll just play around with the sliders and handles a bit until it looks good to me.
That's just about it, but I think I'll try messing around with the blending modes to see if it makes an improvement. Actually, yeah, it does. I'm not sure which I like best, either soft light or average. I think I'll pick average and be done with this one. Wow, that looks great. Thanks again for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's content, please click those like and subscribe buttons below. Have a great day, everyone.